The Sentinel 5P satellite is a timely replacement for the ERS and Envisat after it stopped working. There was an urgent need to fill the gap in observing air quality and air pollution. Furthermore, according to the World Health Organization, air pollution is responsible for over 3.7 million premature deaths worldwide every year. But the health costs are even greater, as many people suffer from non-lethal afflictions either caused or aggravated by breathing polluted air. Another major health concern on which Sentinel-5P is gathering data is the ozone in our atmosphere. When that ozone is depleted, ultraviolet light from the sun is no longer filtered. Increased exposure to UV light can cause skin cancer, immune system damage, and other ailments in humans. The tropomy data uh, will be used uh, operationally, so it will be used to uh, improve the air quality forecasts. And air quality forecasts uh, are of course important uh, for uh, people who are vulnerable to uh, pollution. Uh, but also uh, for the general public uh, in case of uh, big smog events. Um, what we can do with the tropomy data is we can look at the emissions of pollutants. Uh, and uh, when you see them changing over time, uh, that is very important because we can see if certain policy measures uh, have the right impact or where we see still increases and still have to do uh, more to uh, reduce uh, the uh, uh, polluting emissions. A decline in air quality such as smog poses massive risks for people's health. And one of the main contributors to climate change is the pollution of our atmosphere by greenhouse gases such as CO2 and methane. This is why measurements on air pollution need to be undertaken everywhere. Like here, for instance, with a mobile measurement station at the University of Bremen it detects smog and industrial emissions. These local measurements supplement and validate the global observations from satellites, which in turn are needed for scientists to study the air we breathe and the planet we live on. Well, the satellites are a key um, information base and knowledge base for the study of atmospheric physics, chemistry, and meteorology. It's essential data because we need to know not just what's coming out at a given place, but we need to know where it's going, where it's depositing at the surface, how it's being transformed. Is it going to be taken up by clouds and rained out? If so, where? And this whole transport and transformation process is a complex business. In general, we have this problem of unambiguously identifying anthropogenic impact from natural phenomena or natural behavior in this complex system and how we're modifying it. So this is the challenge for the science, which is a necessary prerequisite uh, to enable good, uh, good legislation and ultimately sustainable development. And so in this context, measurements from space are essential because they provide us with the global picture or from the local to the global scale. The Sentinel-5P mission will have quite some improvements as compared to previous uh, missions. For example, if you look at the spatial resolution, we will break a record, namely, we will look at city scale because the Nadia pixel size will be as low as 3.5 kilometers times seven kilometers. So we can then investigate small-scale features over big cities and city agglomerates, for example. The mission will monitor the atmosphere using the tropomy spectrometer to monitor various trace gases in our atmosphere and reduce data gaps between Envisat and Sentinel-5. By combining satellite data with the local measurements on the ground, scientists can properly monitor air pollution and how it impacts us and our planet. We have lots to understand to assess the impact. Ultimately, more pollution is bad for health, bad for people. And uh, the estimates are somewhere between three and seven million people a year die prematurely from air pollution. This is a, a large number of people. At the forefront of Earth observation, the European Space Agency helps us to understand climate change and pollution by giving scientists and policymakers the data that can drive legislation. Uh, these atmospheric measurements are extremely important for mankind, 
first of all, to see how our planet changes in terms of climate, but also to see how air quality changes in different places and over time. Uh, we have highly polluted areas, uh, which are, of course, uh, uh, transporting pollution from one place to the other. So these fluxes of uh, pollution or uh, gases is very important to monitor. But also, uh, if you take Europe, for example, Europe has introduced very strong uh, legislation and regulations in order to reduce uh, greenhouse gas emissions. And this has also to be verified. And uh, these satellites are a very good measure or very good way of, of uh, making sure that this uh, these reductions are taking place at a large scale.